Good morning, Lakeisha. We're going to give about a few more minutes to get some other people to hop on, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get started. And as I put in the chat today, we're going to go over how to read a signal or trade idea, how to enter it into MetaTrader 4, and how to calculate pips. Um, these are some very important aspects, especially when you are out and on the go. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and then we're going to pull up, uh, we can pull up the harmonic scanner because that's the tool that all of us should be using because it automatically comes with our subscription. So we're going to go to imlharmonicscanner.com. We're going to log in. Mm -hmm. 
going to turn my volume off so we don't get distracted. Okay, so here's actually a trade setup that I took off of the harmonic scanner this morning. And USD JPY for a cell. And as you can see, it has two entry points. This was the entry point right here. And this was also a secondary entry point. Okay. And right now, if price is at the top and the take profit is below where it's telling you to get in, what type of trade are we looking at? Is it a, are we looking for a buy opportunity or a sell opportunity? And Lakeisha, you can unmute yourself or write it in the chat, whichever you feel most comfortable with. Okay, so I'm not quite sure if you're at work or if you can hear me, um, but if price is below the entry, we're looking for a sale opportunity. So for this one right here, your entry price would either have been the 112.020 or the 111.983. So what we can do is we can go over to our Hugo's way because this is from the desktop option. But you do also have a MetaTrader 4 from your cell phone as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, you're at work. All right. So I'm just going to wait for Hugo's way to come up here. There we go. If you guys can see now, I am in a trade on UJ with two positions open. All right. Actually, on a 15 minute time frame. So good. Just so let me be able to watch my trade while I'm on the train. All right, so if we, I'm gonna switch over to a demo account. I don't know what the password is. I'm going to answer this bit on time. Let's see if it'll let me in this one. Okay, there we go. So we'll still go ahead and utilize UJ. So let's say, for example, how we saw in the harmonic scanner where the entry point was. Well, we're past that entry point. Right, the entry point was up here where the two green lines are, but we're beyond that. So let's say you decided, you know what, this looks like it has some good momentum to the downside. I want to go ahead and get into this trade. Okay, now I'm not telling anyone on here to get on this trade, but we know with our flat bottom, excuse me, our flat tops, that momentum is still going to the downside. So let's say we wanted to enter a market execution from our desktop. Not a problem. So we can go here. We can enter a new trade. Hold on.
we're going to come here to new order. And we want to put our lot size in. So we're going to do a 0 0.01, right? Now, if we go back and look at our harmonic scanner, since we're currently live in the market right here, we're just going to go ahead and put our stop loss where the entry was. So 111983. 111.983. And we'll put our target. Let's say we're just going to go mm, about five pips. So if the market is currently at for a uh, sale 111.937. Our take profit is going to be 111, so 93 minus 5, and that's 88.3. That's 5 fifths. Okay? Sell by market. All right? So now we have our PIP calculator, and it's showing this right here. And now we're in the trade, right? So let's go back over and look at how to calculate a PIP, right? Give me one second here. Because anything with the yen in it, you're going to calculate it a little bit differently. Okay? Just a minute. The PIP is you telling the market, um, the PIPs are, let's say, points in the market. So let me give you a visual real quick. So right here on the right-hand side of the screen, you see the entry price is 111. 0.98379. You can technically, since this is a yen pair, just look at 111.983. You don't have to look at the rest of that. So let me go ahead and put some text on the screen so it can make a little bit more sense. So 111.983 is the entry price. And then our take profit is 111 point, we said we were gonna do five pips. So since it's a sale, you only wanna pay attention to the 98. So 98 minus five is 87. That's how I got that, 87. And then you add the three back on, cause that's the pip it. So that's your take profit. And then since we're looking at a sale and our take profit, we're subtracting. If we're looking for our stop loss, we will be adding. So we're going to do a one-to-one -one ratio. So your stop loss will be 112.9899, of the 033. And the reason that, here, let me put this up here. The reason that when you went for the stop loss, it went to 112.033, you got to look at it as if you're counting from 1 to 100, okay? So if you were really at 98, you wouldn't just start all the way over from zero. You would have to go to the next. Thing. So if we're at, how can I explain this a little bit better? Because it sounds like I'm saying it's a little confusing. Let me get me a tool. 
when you're calculating PIP, you can remove the PIP X for calculation purposes only, okay? Because when you put it back into the system, you have to put your pipette back on. You have to, have to, have to. You cannot miss that step or you will be mad in the mug, okay? So for adding and subtracting, you're only looking at the two numerical portions after the decimal point, right? So our entry was 111.98. You're, since it's a cell, you're taking 98 minus 5. And if you use a calculator, that's fine. Who cares? But you're using 98 minus 5, and that's how you get 87. So it's 111.87, then you add the 3 back on. When you're looking for your stop loss, where you're saying, okay, this is as far as I'm willing to allow the market to pull back on me, before I say, hey, let me just go ahead and cut my losses. So 111.98, we're almost at 100. That's why we have to move to 112.03 because you're looking at 98, 99, 112, right? So that will be 112.003. Just remember, you always got to put the pipette, pipette back on. So um, 1200, 1201, 1202, 1203, that's five pips. Does that make sense? I know you're at work, so I'll probably get your response um, later on. Okay, so that's how you calculate your pips with. Um, you know, even when you're out on the ghost, you can blindly do it. So let's go to a um, another pair so we can see. Oh, I didn't mean to stop sharing. Sorry. Okay, so you just have to come back and um, watch the recording then. Got you. Okay. So I'm going to go to another pair. Not a yen pair though, so we can get another example. Let's go to AUD USD. So, okay, finally, AUD USD looks like you want to make this move. All right, I've been watching this since earlier, actually. Let me just go to my phone real quick. AUD USD chart. Do I have hiking Nazi candles on here? Yes, I do. Give me some flat bottoms, and that'll be cool to work with. So let's go ahead and calculate pips for this particular pair here. So let me grab my, there we go. All right, so our entry for this one is 0.7. One seven sorry, I just got a update on the trade. Mm, sorry guys, just one second. Okay. Uh point seven one seven nine seven. Okay. So You always want to remove the pipette. The pipette is the last number. So I always cross the pipette out when I'm calculating, okay? So if we want to look at, um, we have another person with us now, so we're going to be a little bit more interactive. So this right here, are we looking for a sell or a buy? And for the other person that joined us, you can unmute yourself or put it in the chat. If you don't know, you can say, I'm not quite sure as well.
So Devin or Divine, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Are we looking for a sell or a buy opportunity? If price is up here and the take profit is below the price, No, we're looking for a sale opportunity, Lakeisha, because price is at the top and the take profit is underneath. So we're looking to sell this market, okay? Remember, this is what you all wanna put down in your notes. If price is at the top and the take profit is below, you're looking to sell, okay? So now, if our entry point is 0.71797, remember, I always cross out the pipette. Then the only numbers that I'm focused on to get to where I need to go is this number right here, the 79. That's the only thing I'm focused on. So it's showing right here that our take profit our first take profit is point seven one six four two. Let's take profit, okay? So if I'm focused on removing the pipette, we gotta remove it for both of them. And if I'm only focused on 79 and 64, if it's a cell, I know I'm subtracting. So what's 79 minus 64? And I want one of you to answer it. I, I know you're at work with Keisha. 79 minus 64, you can grab a, a um, calculator real quick. was 79 minus 64. Correct, 15. So you have a 15 pip take profit. Okay, because all you're focused on is 79 minus 64. And you see this here in the entry price. If we remove the pipette, 79 minus 64, that gives you 15. Now, if you wanted to calculate your stop loss, and let's say you wanted to have a 15 pip stop loss, you're gonna add 15 to the 79. So 79 plus 15 is 94. So the take, excuse me, the stop loss in this example is going to be point seven one nine four and you have to add the pipette back on from the entry price and that's going to be the seven and this is going to be a stop loss Does it make sense how I got to that stop loss? Okay, perfect. All right, so we went over adding and subtracting pips, how to enter them. 
Well, the recording will be posted on our YouTube channel. So no worries, okay? All right, so we went over taking a look at the harmonic scanner and let's look for a buy so you guys can see what a buy looks like as well. I forgot to go live in the YouTube, I mean, in the Facebook page, okay. Um, let's take a look at a buy so you all can see what that looks like. So let's see what the scanner has for a buy. This has a lot of momentum to the downside. Yes, I did an example of yen pairs as well. Well, what do you mean? Um, unmute yourself because if you're talking about crypto, then that's a whole nother ball game. So when you say does this work across all trading? Do you mean like all pairs? Explain what you mean. And please feel free to unmute yourself. This is okay. an interactive class. Got you. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. So yeah, that's that was my question. Does it does it work across uh, all trading pairs? Because um, uh, my mentor was was telling me to be careful with that because. Uh, um, she she showed me how to use it on the on the um um on the graph inside my uh Hugo's way. She showed me how to calculate it that way and she said be careful with you know, unless you really know how to calculate your pips. So my question was, yes, does it does it work across all pairs like that? Um I'm gonna be honest, I don't trade crypto, so I can't answer your question definitively for crypto. I don't. I don't think I'm talking about crypto. I'm, I'm and I'm new to this, by the way. So I don't That's think. Okay. You don't, don't have to explain yourself. <laughs> okay. So I don't think I'm talking about crypto. I don't, I don't think I got into crypto yet. Okay. So do you have a pen and paper handy? I do. Okay. So do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for this pair here, first of all, answer this question: Are we looking to buy this market or are we looking to sell this market? Okay, so that was that was gonna be my 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 next question. Um, we we the way she did it is she showed me how to do it on a on a sell and a buy, and I believe you were talking about a buy just now, right? Um, look at my screen. Okay. So if price is the entry point is right here, right? Okay, I see that. Yep. I have two entry options. And the okay. take profit is above the price. So okay. you believe you will be entering a buy or a sell? On oh, this one, I would be entering a buy, it looks like. You are 100% correct, okay? So in this example here, we will be buying the market. Gotcha. So when we're looking for our take profit, we're going to be adding. I, I want you to write that down in your notes. Got it. And this is what helped me in the beginning. If price is above my entry, I'm looking for a buy. So I'm going to be adding to find out what my take profit is. Okay. To find out what my stop loss is, I'm going to be subtracting. Got it. So let me know when you have that down and I'm going to give you the flip side for a sale. Okay, one second. Uh huh. Stop loss. Excuse me, Mr. I have a question. Go ahead. Okay, my question is can you, um, is it best if you use, like, say, like, if you're trying to demo or trade, is it best if you use it? Um, on your phone or off of like a, a, a computer or iPad or something because I don't know if you remember on my phone the the graphs don't seem to look the same like it still doesn't move like it's supposed to to me um it looks different simply because it's smaller um the only way it would look different is if you use a different broker but no matter whether you're on your tablet desk or cell phone, 
-hmm. if you're using the same broker, the price is going to be the exact same. Okay. And I got that in my notes. Okay. Give me one second. My name is Devon, by the way. Sorry. Devon, thank you. (laughs) Sorry, I'm updating the trade, (laughs) y'all. So hold on. One, one, two, zero, nine. I try to be done with trading before I get on the call, but it's not always possible. So, <laughs> all right. Um, you as DJ people, I just don't want to be right to me today. Just come on, stop playing games. Okay. So, divine for the sale aspect, and let me give you a visual also. We'll go back to the one we were on. The entry price is up here, right? Uh, let me see. Okay, I see it. So since the entry price is up here and the take profit is down here, the oh. take profit is below the entry price. Okay. So this is a sale. So you're going to be subtracting to find out what your take profit is. And then on a sale, you're going to have to add to find out what your stop loss is. Okay. One second. Take your time. I'm not listening. And Miss Tiffany, I have another question. The harmonic scanner is not on the IML. That's something totally different. Uh, you can access it through your IML back office. Okay. Or you can just go to IMLharmonicscanner.com, whichever preference you have with time. But you still have to be um, active in the IML, right? In order to access that either way. Ask me that one more time. I didn't hear you. You have to still be um, active with, within the IML. Um, yes, ma'am. That group. is correct. okay. Okay. How you coming along, Divine? Okay. I got that in my notes. You you said you do have it in your notes. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So now this is what I want you to do because I had Lakeisha do this last week and I believe it helped her out a lot. Mm -hmm. So we're back on our buy opportunity, right? So on your piece of paper, I want you to write the word entry. Entry. All right. And then next to that, I want you to put 1.8. One eight zero five. Okay. One point eight one eight zero five. Yes, sir. Got it. Now answer this question for me, Devon. Mm-hmm. Since we're looking for a buy opportunity, if I want to calculate my take profit. Am I going to be adding or subtracting based upon the two beginning notes that I had you write down? Okay, so if I'm if I'm uh, take profit on a buy, and I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna be adding. Okay, so I want you to answer that again, and I want you to say it more confident because your answer is correct. You need to say it with confidence, please. <laughs> okay, so, um, so the question was, on a buy, uh, take profit. Would I be adding? Um, on this one, on a buy, I would be adding on the take profit. Okay, perfect. Mm-hmm. So what I want you to do is I want you to cross out the number five, which is the pivot, which is at the end of your number sequence that I gave you for your entry price. Just put an X to it, okay? 
Got you, because I remember that from the uh, training video. So the only thing that I want you to focus on right now to add what your take profit is, is the 80. Okay. The 8-0, right? Yep. So if I tell you I want you to calculate a 13 pip take profit, what is 80 plus 13? Eighty plus thirteen is gonna be ninety-eight, I believe. Mm -mm, thirteen. Nope, I'm sorry, my bad. That's I'm using wrong calculations. Hold on a second. So, um, you said thirteen pips. So, mm -hmm. eighty plus thirteen is gonna be ninety-three. Okay. So this is how I want you to write it. I'm gonna walk you through this one. The next one, I'm gonna have you do by yourself. Got it. Your take profit is 1.8193 and don't forget to put your pipette back on. What yeah. is your pipette? My pipette is a five. Okay. So tell me what you have on your piece of paper for what your take profit is. My take profit is going to be 1.81935. Correct. Good job. Do you see how simple I tried to make it for you to calculate your PIP. Yeah, that's good. By only focusing on those two numbers, right? Right, and I remember that from the uh, training video in IML. Exactly. Because sometimes calculating PIPs can be confusing. In the beginning, I was like, oh, Jesus, what the heck? Mm -hmm. But when I finally began to look at it and like, okay, if I just take the PIP at off, and use the two numbers to the left, I'm in there like swimwear. Right. But right. I'm going to add a little bit of a complexity to it. Okay. Because there are going to be situations where you have to go to the next whole number. Well, what do you mean, Tiffany? Glad you asked, Devon. <laughs> so let's say, okay, I want you to write this. 1.81 805. Okay, one second. Hold on, one second. Take your time. Miss Tiffany, I have another question for you. Is there any um, other way to be able to access more examples besides I? And what you're gonna post on the um, post in the uh, YouTube, uh, yeah, the YouTube channel today on this. Uh, what, you, what we're going you on? Said, are there ways to uh, access other examples of calculating tips? Yes, because um, everything that you were saying earlier about how to get the the numbers, because that's what I was gonna ask you. And I thought about it this morning. I was trying to jump on a demo trade, and I couldn't remember I, i'm pretty sure we went over it but i forgot how to get the numbers and i believe you went over that today and that's why i was like that's like one of the major steps that i need in order to find stop loss take profit and things like that i'm not 100 percent sure i understand your question I, I think she might be asking about the entry say that one more time I think she might be asking about the entry so that she can add and subtract her, her stop losses and take profit. Oh, so you mean like if it's a market execution, Lakeisha? Yes, uh, we have more examples. So with the market uh, execution, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, I'm asking like if you have if you have more examples. I can't hear you, honey. If you have more examples besides the ones that you have today. Like when I go back later to to review the uh, the recording, would you just have the one example that you uh, went over today, or will there be like other examples? Oh, I understand what you're saying. So, at the end of the day, there's only the yin pairs and the other pairs. The yin pair, you're gonna have three numbers before the decimal point and three or more numbers after. 
all you have to mentally know is that anything that has JPY is going to be something, something, point, something, something, or three numbers, point, something, something, something. You're only focused on the two numbers after the decimal point on a yin pair. On a regular pair, you're only focused on three the three numbers after the decimal point. That's it. Like I don't want you to overcomplicate it and think you need an example for every pair because you don't. And what will help sharpen your confidence is if you literally go to let's say trading view and pull up a chart. You can put your cursor on any price point, anyone, anyone you so choose. And you can say, okay, if I were buying, I would have to add. If I wanted to go 20 pips from where this price is right here, what is that going to be? You just got to get in and keep practicing it. So, okay. so even if you come back and, and watch this recording over and over and over and over again, yes. it'll help you. Because it's the exact same concept. So that was a good question. Did I answer it for you? Yes, but then I, I, I have another one. The pips is, is calculated, or is that just something that we choose within the trade? Like, say, oh, like, no, you just like picking, yeah, that's okay. Good question. Yes, you are not just picking random numbers. No, 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 no. Okay. So the point of me using random numbers now is to teach you not for you to actually do it because for example if you look at the screen on this g g a pair uh -huh. the entry price that i just had uh divine write down for the second example is 1.81805 okay the take profit is 1.82367 okay now i can do this in my head because I know that to the next whole number mm -hmm. is 200, right? And how am right. I getting that? 1.8180. Let's forget the five, which is the pipette. Okay. If I'm counting up, it, you go 80, 90, 100, mm -hmm. right? But we're right. already at 100. So I know this one is turning to a two. Two, okay. Because we're going up, we're adding. Okay. So I know from practice that I'm going to the next whole number, the second digit after the pivot. So for example, I know that this is 30, 56 pips because 80 to 100 is 20 pips. And then uh -huh. I'm just at 36, because it shows me right here that that's 36. So 36 plus 20 is 56. Okay. But again, you might not get that because you haven't been practicing it yet. So that's why I'm giving you like a cheap, cheap way of doing it yeah. by removing the pipette from the equation. Okay. So like, for example, if you do, if you put in your calculator 820 Hold on, let me pull up my calculator because I'm going to do it with you guys. If you pull up your, like Divine, for example, pull up your calculator for me. And okay. let me have it up, sir. Okay. Uh, I got it. Okay. So the take profit on here, we're just going to look at 8236. Put in your calculator 8236. And, and I, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't get the whole um, number that you gave for the interest. That's okay. I got I got 1.1. 1 .1. In your calculator, you're just going to put 8236. 8,236, mm -hmm. right? Yep, 8236. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do minus mm -hmm. the entry price, which was 8. One eight zero, right? Yeah, that's the, 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 the four digits past the decimal point. If you do it this way, right? 
Yeah, so it was 1.1.8. I mean, I'm sorry. Nope, I don't want you to do it that way. So clear your entire calculators. Let's start over. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I still got a 8236 minus in my calculator. Okay, my, then do minus 8180. 8, 8, what, what number does that give you? So 56. 56. So 56 from the entry right here to the first take profit. Remember, I told you guys without even using a calculator, it was 56 pips, right? Yeah. So now, let's say you like, you know what? I don't want to do it that way yet, Tiffany. I don't feel 100% confident. You're just flipping the numbers. So you can take the take profit, which the system automatically gives you, which is, and I'm going to give you guys a visual. So take profit is 1.82038. Your entry price was 1.81805. Oops, 805, right? So if you took eight, two, three, six minus eight, one, eight, zero, that equals 56 pips. So, um, okay, I have a, I have a small question. Oh, go, uh, uh, let me see what you have to put up there. Because you, you put take profit at this number right here. It doesn't matter if you put plus or minus because the, neg the number is going to come negative or positive. Whether it's negative or positive, that's your number. Oh, no. I, what I was saying was uh, when, you, when you put take profit, you put, it, you put the entry number in there. You put um, 182038. Uh, you can. I just remove as many uh, as possible so I can just get to my end goal. You can, though. No. I just don't. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, that, that's why, I, okay, that's why I kind of got confused because it was the, the, right here it says entry at 8. At one eight two zero three eight, but you have it as to take profit. Yep, and and let's say for example you did want to put all the numbers in. Let's go ahead and do it that way, um, Divine. So go ahead and put one point eight two three six. Remember, forget that pipette for right now. Okay. And you can do minus one point eight one. Eight zero, it's still gonna come out to fifty six. It just might look a little different. Right, right, okay. You see right. how you did it both ways, and you still got the same result. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. So, and even if you added the pipette on, you would get fifty six point two pips. You know, I only focus on adding my pipette back on when I am entering a trade because that's when it matters in my MetaTrader 4. That's the only time that pipette matters, in my opinion. Now, some people might say something different. You know, it, it just don't matter to me because I know to right. add it back on. Right. I do, too. Yeah. yeah. So, no matter which way you do it, you still get 56 pips. And that's what I want you guys to see. And this will actually be a phenomenal trade to take a look at getting into. Um, you know, you need to do your own analysis. Um, if, if you guys use the 
steal a killer strategy or if you know you use the triple fire or whatever um because i'm definitely going to look at getting in here and writing this to the first take profit for 56 bits you better believe that okay um now, have you all been trained on how to use the harmonic scanner uh yeah yeah i'm uh i'm actually uh to, well, let me see. Today, it would be today because I started last night doing the London session. So today was actually my first time uh, going into trade, and uh, I got a profit of uh, $225. You so said I, what? I, 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 what? I, I, today was my first time actually going into trade, and I hit a Profit of two hundred and twenty-five dollars using the uh, uh, still a killer. Oh, okay, cool. So, so but I'm, I'm I'm still I'm still a little uh, green on the on the harmonic scanner. So, if you wanted to go over some of that, then, then you could. Well, harmonic scanner, the actual training of it, we go a little bit more in depth on a different session. Um, however, okay. are you in our Legacy Wealth Builders group on Facebook? I uh, don't think so. Pardon? See. I don't think so. Okay, so not a problem. One second. Hold on a second. What's your name on Facebook? Uh, the one catches. Okay. So, uh, Ms. Tiffany, I have a question. So, everyone has different methods of um, training on how to trade? Oh, yeah. There, yeah. yeah. Because, you know, you might want to use a trading style that fits your personality. Like, there are, even on IML TV, there are certain educators. They're great. They just don't work for me. I'm a loud, business person. Somebody who's monotone, I can't do it. So I don't. I choose not to listen to those educators, and it's not good. It doesn't fit my learning curve. Right. And so that's, that's why there's an entire harmonic channel on. Well, you because there's different strategies to use the harmonic scanner. Were you able to find me or do I need to look for Say that again? Your phone is kind of muffled now, Devon. Okay, hold on a second. I said, were you able to find me or do I need to look for, look for the group? Um, this is a, are you at least in the Telegram chat? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm gonna find you that way. Again, this is recorded, and I'm gonna put it up on YouTube. So I don't want to try to stalk you and stuff like that. So hold on one second. Okay. Because I was, I just logged in the Facebook. I was just gonna find the group. Remember? Oh God, I can't stand it. This is in alphabetical order. Is your name divine within the Telegram group? Yeah, hold on a second. No, I don't think you're in there. Oh, you know what? I I may not be. Um, hold on a second. Who who is your sponsor? Uh, let's see. Um, Tony Morgan. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop sharing the screen, and then I'm going to send you my information.
So I just I just uh, try to get my name. You can find me on Facebook too. Do you have a New Orleans Saints as your profile picture? That's it. Okay. I just sent you a friend request. Okay. That's it. And then we need to get you added to Telegram. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to message you privately because we're going to go ahead and hop off. I have to be on IMLTV at 12 for my learning session. Um, if you guys have any additional questions, you can reach out to me privately. Um, and then, Devon, I'm going to send you some information that you need um, now, okay? Got it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something. Keep practicing how to calculate those tips, and we'll see you on the next one, okay? Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. You're welcome.